Yo, what's up, guys? Foxy coming to you guys today with a brand new video. Hope you guys are all on a fantastic day. In today's video, we are finally doing the final slash mastery camos in every single Call of Duty. We're gonna be playing every single COD, and we are gonna look at every single final camo. And if you guys remember, I did this video last year, and it was a blast. Thankfully, this year we have two final camos that we can look at. We have Dark Ether for Black Ops Cold War Zombies, and we have Dark Matter for Black Ops Cold War Multiplayer, which I think is really cool. So I decided to, you know, recreate last year's video, but with a little twist. This year, we're gonna be playing on PC for almost every single Call of Duty, except for the Jetpack CODs, World War II, Modern Warfare Remastered, and Black Ops 4. I don't have those games on PC, and I don't have the final camos on those games on PC. So I wanna give a huge shout out to my man, Ghost, for letting me use his account on all the Jetpack games for all the final camos and things like that. And I believe he lent it to me on Call of Duty Ghost as well. So Ghost619, thank you so much, brother. I really, really appreciate you, bro. If you guys do enjoy this video and you guys don't mind leaving an early like for me, a lot went into this video. So it'd be greatly appreciated. Subscribe, turn on notifications, all that good jazz. Go follow me on all my socials down in the description below. My Twitter, my Twitch, my TikTok, my Instagram. We stream on Twitch every single night around like 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Merry Christmas to you guys and happy holidays if you guys don't celebrate Christmas. But if you do celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas to you. I hope you guys had a great day. This is my present to you guys. A big, long video. <laughs> Anyways, without further ado, let's go, bro. All right, now this map sucks, but it's really good for showing off the camo. So I'm going to show you guys how the camo looks like. So this is what the camo looks like in a really nice looking map where the gold camo is actually shown off and everything like that. It's really nice. Honestly, this game on PC looks beautiful. The attention to detail, even for such an older game, is awesome. And it's really surreal to come on and play this game after it's been out for, I don't know, almost 13 years now. And this is my first time really playing it on PC. Man, this camo just looks beautiful. Holy crap, what the hell? Alright, so we are uh we're on Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare on PC. This is this is sweet, dude. This is the gold camo in Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare on PC. I'm gonna do this reload animation real quick. It's gonna look real nice. Here, I'm gonna show this to you guys real quick. It, it doesn't look like gold camo, but I promise it's gold camo. I promise. I figured I would play PC this year for this video for most of the games. Just because last year we played on console. And I just want to kind of mix it up a little bit this year, you know? There's no controller support for this, so I don't really play on mouse and keyboard. So cut me a slight break, please. Yeah, there's a kill. There we go. Just a disclaimer, we will not be playing MWR on PC because I don't have it on PC, number one. And I don't have Exclusion Zone on PC. But gold camo is the final camo in this game. In order to unlock gold camo in this game, you had to get gold. You had to get like all the camos and master challenges done for a specific weapon category. And then once you got gold camo, you could only equip it on a certain gun. So for assault rifles, it was the AK-47. And I can't remember the other guns, to be honest. I can't remember what other guns you could equip gold. I think the mini Uzi was one. Obviously, we have the gold desert eagle right here. As you guys can see, nice. There are no camos in Call of Duty World at War. Okay, hold, holy crap, my mouth sensitivity. Holy crap, dude. Okay, so this is Modern Warfare 2's ball camo, but I'm playing on IW4X and my sensitivity is insane right now. We're using the SCAR because I feel like this is one of the better weapons with this camo. I, I actually got to download this and I didn't think I was gonna be able to at first. God damn, dude, I need to fix my sensitivity. Hold on. <laughs> All right, we're playing on Skid Row right now. And this is one of my favorite maps in Modern Warfare 2, to be honest. And we're playing on 120 FOV. This looks absolutely nuts. Holy crap, dude. There we go. There's one. Yo, this is actually insane. Like, look at this. It's so HD. We're playing in 1440p. Once again, if you guys aren't watching the video in 1440p, make sure you guys do so. So that way you guys can see this in the best quality possible, for sure. Th this game looks amazing. This is my first time pl ever playing IW4X, and I think this looks incredible. I'm loving this right now. This is insane. Modern Warfare 2 is my favorite Call of Duty. So the fact that it just looks this good on PC and IW4X just... I don't know. It seems to run really smooth right now. So I was going to use the ACR, but I'm probably going to end up using the ACR in Modern Warfare 3. So I figured that I wouldn't use that in this game too. And I'm pretty sure I used the ACR in last year's video. So I figured I would switch it up just a tad bit. Dude, can I reload this, please? There we go. There's another kill. Everyone down in the comments, let me know what your favorite Call of Duty is. Obviously, like I said before, mine is Modern Warfare 2. It will always be Modern Warfare 2. Oh, shit. We got a care package. Nice. Uh, who remembers the care package glitch in Modern Warfare 2?
All right, next up, we got Call of Duty Black Ops 1. And in Black Ops 1, we have the gold camo. Gold camo is the final camo in Black Ops 1. This is actually the first time that we saw gold camo back in Call of Duty after Call of Duty 4. Black Ops 1 gold is the best gold of all time, and there is no debate about it. I got to give a huge shout out real quick to my man, Sore Rage, for providing me with some gold PC Black Ops 1 footage because... I don't have gold on my Xbox account, and I don't have gold on PC either. And you can't get a crack either. So thank you to Sore Rage for these awesome sniping clips with the L96. Look at this guy. This dude is insane. Make sure you guys go subscribe to him. It'll be down in the description below. You can't miss it. My man Sore Rage. Dude is nasty at sniping on Call of Duty on PC. Let's hop right in to some Modern Warfare 3. You guys are gonna love this. Okay, so technically this is Modern Warfare 3. And this is the gold camo of Modern Warfare 3. And I actually got the FOV slider to work this time. So this is the Modern Warfare 3 uh, gold camo. We're playing on IW6. And that's the PC version of this game. And this looks insane. Like, I, this is crazy. This is Rust on IW6X. I was gonna play a regular MW3 map, but I figured screw it. Uh, we're not gonna use the ACR though because the AK-74U is in this game. And we can use the AK-74U because it was cut from this game, I'm pretty sure. Or it was just in campaign. I know it was cut from Modern Warfare 2, but we can use gold camo on this gun as well. And this is really cool. I'm kind of fanboying out right now, honestly. This is my second time playing this. I recorded something originally last night, but my FOV was, it was, it was really bad. So I decided to re-record to see if I could get my FOV to work. And it's working now, so. You know, I might die a bunch, but you know, this is this is fun. Now, a lot of you might crucify me, but I played Modern Warfare 3 way more than I ever did Black Ops 2. Honestly, I didn't play Black Ops 2 because I loved MW3 so much, and I was a huge Modern Warfare fanboy back in the day. There we go. There we go. There's two-piece. Nice. Oh, damn. I guess he didn't know where I was at. That's crazy. This looks amazing. This looks great. I think MW2s looks a little bit better, to be honest. Whoa. Flash! Fuck you, last man. This looks awesome. I think I don't know why MW2 looks better than this. I don't know if it's got like more support or what, but it does look better. Or the IW4X looks better than IW6. I do think that. But this is awesome. This is truly awesome. I really, really enjoy this. This is really, really cool. Oh my god. Oh, man. I didn't know that was, like, a guy or what. Um, oh, dude, wait. Where was he? Dude, no shot, bro. There the keys are Xbox 360 controller buttons. That's really, really cool, actually. All right, we're playing on hijack. And we got our diamond camo here on the pace caper. And uh, whatever I get here is what I'm going to do. I've just spent, like, an hour recording. My OBS keeps freaking up and all that stuff. So we're just going to get whatever we can right here. I'm out of there, you bastard. I'm a camo BO2 was one of those camos where it's like, okay, cool. We got gold camo, but now we have diamond camo and it looks freaking sick. So it's, it's like the first time that they really expanded upon gold camo. Because gold camo had been like the standard for final camos in the past, like I guess two Call of Duties with uh, MW3 and Black Ops 1. And then with BO2, they were like, all right, you know what? We got to step it up here. And Treyarch always seems to be the ones that are always stepping it up as far as camos go. So, you know, don't don't mind the gameplay. Like, like I've said before, this is not about gameplay. This is more so about showing off the camo. You guys can see it nicely here. It's nice. Nice, pretty diamond. I think that Black Ops Cold War's diamond camo looks way better than this. But on this on PC looks fantastic. This on console, ugh. Ugh, gross. What did you say? Oh, God. Vibration, vibration. Vibration on my controller. I don't, I don't Why is it doing that? All right. So, this is gold camo and Call of Duty Ghosts. And uh, I'm going to show you guys the reload animation, all that good stuff. Just a sec. Hold on. Hey, what's up? Uh, this is, this feels very weird. Oh, wow. Might start playing with controller vibration now. Because uh, I'm actually lighting it up right now. Nope. What? That's lame. You're good? I don't, I don't. Here we go. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good right there. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This controller vibration feels very, very weird, actually. I'm not playing on, like, normal controls. I, I really don't like ghosts, so I'm really not trying to play this too often, like, or too long. I'm kind of, that, That's kind of one of the reasons why I'm just kind of going with it and just using the, the default controls and just kind of going with the flow. I just have such mixed feelings about ghosts, to be honest. It's like I like ghosts, but at the same time, I 
don't like ghosts. <laughs> Damn it. What do you want? We are on advanced warfare now. Oh god, vibration on my controller. Why? Why vibration on my controller? I need to take that off. Hold on. We're gonna play with it for now. Oh, this feels really, really weird. Like the vibration on my controller is just insane right now. Hold on. Now, my, my left stick is completely screwed. We have the royalty camo in uh in uh what was this game advanced warfare yeah advanced warfare uh, there is a royalty camo before this it's the gold one we're not gonna share that in this video because um number one i don't want to play this game too long and uh number two this one looks better it's purple so i, I like it way more <laughs> yeah i didn't play advanced warfare in its prime i'm not really big on like the jetpack games or anything like that okay big shout out to my man ghost 619 for letting me use his account oh my god um i guess i'll show it to you guys in the light and that way it looks that way you guys can see how nice it looks or whatever so um i guess we'll go over here and uh oh yeah this looks good let's shoot it real quick we'll reload it there's a train that just went by there's no weapon animations in this game so you know i, I can't really do much about that sorry I, I really don't care that i'm using the same the same gun that i used last year in the uh in the video last year i'm be, I'm be real with you guys i really don't give a shit personally oh no i ran out of freaking ammo so uh, yeah we're using the xmc okay yeah you can turn that off i don't i don't really play the jetpack games like that oh well that's i'm not running into that that's, that's a no-go there bro oh well I, and you know what i suck I, I, I need some i need some leverage bro i need some leverage all right so this is the dark matter camo on bo3 now black ops 3 is the first game to ever have dark matter in it and i feel like dark matter in this game really changed the way that uh that people perceived camos in call of duty it's like pretty much like the first game where people really said you know what or i guess the devs pretty much said you know what guys we're gonna give you guys something crazy to grind for there was royalty in aw and then obviously treyarch said all right you know what we're gonna have to one up everybody here and they gave us dark matter i didn't play bo3 in its prime so you know don't kill me or anything like that but uh, there's an annihilator he's dead I just tried to stem. That, that's that, that's bad. I don't know. What? Okay, whatever. My controller's talking. My controller's talking. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why my controller's talking here. Hold on. I, I really love Dark Matter camo. Out of all the Dark Matter camos, which one is your guys' favorite? Let me know down in the chat. No, no. I don't know. I don't know what gun this is, but we're going to use it. This is Black Sky in IW. And to be honest, I think the Black Sky is better. Oh, wait. Oh, this is a burst. Oh, uh, I don't know. We'll use it. Screw it. This is Black Sky in IW. And to be honest, I think this is better than Dark Matter in BO3. Yo, this thing is insane. Yo, what is... This is like a little pocket M16, bro. So, fun fact, I went to IW Champs. So, if you went to IW Champs and you guys are watching this video... Let me know down in the comments. It was a lot of fun. I got to meet a lot of cool people when I went there. And, you know, I didn't really like IW. I played more uh, MWR during this uh, during this game's life cycle. But I honestly, I'm going to be real. Watching Infinite Warfare competitive was super fun. I just feel like the movement in this game is way more smooth or smoother than the than Black Ops 3. I just That's just how I feel, man. And I feel like this game... I don't know, dude. Like, there's like a part of me that has way more fun playing this game. I just try to stim again. And there's uh, there's one part of me that really enjoys playing this game. And then there's another part of me that's just like... Ugh, ugh, this game sucks. Alrighty then. <laughs> Alright. We are on MWR now. And we have the G3. Ooh, with exclusion zone, the best final camo of all time, in my opinion. I think the last time I did this video, I did, um, I did the M16. I think, yeah, I think I did the M16 and the AK-74U. So, you know, this time I was like, you know what? I'll just use a different gun. I won't use, like, a meta weapon or anything like that. We're actually going to mute everybody in this. I know I always say that Modern Warfare Remastered holds, holds a special place in my heart, but it just does, man. Like, I, I love this game so much. I do enjoy Remastered way, way, way more there's just way more to do. Honestly, I feel like if I played the original Call of Duty 4, I wouldn't say that. You know, because I didn't play the original Call, Call of Duty 4 in its prime. And like we saw earlier, Call of Duty 4 had a gold camo as its final camo for every weapon category. And we got a hella chopper ready for order. Oh, you're dead. Oh, you're dead now. You're dead now. See, y'all should have just let y'all should just let me keep going, bro. All right, I forgot about World War II. I'm not doing Chrome Tiger, whatever the hell it's called. I, I I'm not doing it. I'm not doing Chrome Tiger. I'm not doing Gold Tiger. Not doing whatever. Not doing White Tiger. This isn't Power Rangers. We're gonna be doing Chrome. 
I know there's Chrome Tiger. I covered that in the final camo video last year. I'm not going that far for this game. I don't like this game. So we have Chrome, we have Gold Leopard, and then we have Gold Cheetah, and then there's Chrome Tiger. I don't have Chrome Tiger. No we got Chrome right here on uh, on this uh, this PPSH. I don't care that I'm using the PPSH, by the way. I could care less what gun I'm using at the moment. I will say this about World War II shipment. It plays way better than Modern Warfare shipment. And I will always stand by that. I think that the spawns are way better on this shipment. I think they're way more consistent. Seems like my team is completely destroying the other team, which is completely fine by me because I'm really not trying to get killed by kids running requisitions and all that stuff, even though it's most likely going to happen. This kid with the riot shields is getting completely messed up. I will say that I really do enjoy the design of this shipment, to be perfectly honest. I, I will say that. That's one thing about World War II that I can appreciate. If, if there was a shipment that I really, really enjoyed besides the original and besides MWR, it would be this one. I still think the PPSH sounds like complete crap, though. What? What did? Wait, what did he do? We got the camos here. We got or the camo, this dark matter camo. The dark matter in this game was pretty awesome in my opinion. I really, really liked it. Um, personally, I like BO3s a little bit more because it's a little bit more simplistic and stuff like that. But you know, to each its own. I thought this was a very cool concept though because it added the reactive element to it, which is very, very cool. If BO3 had done that, that would have been really sick. But I don't really like the spikes on this one, I guess, if that makes sense. I said that really weird. But, you know, it's whatever. It's, it's not that big of a deal, you know? Here we go. And, he, and so there's, there's, I think there's like five or six tiers to this because you have to get 30 kills in order to unlock this whole thing. Here we go. Now, Dark Matter, at first, when you got 30 kills, you had to get like a nuke or something like that in order to, you know, unlock like the full potential for Dark Matter. But then it was way too difficult and everyone was like, hey, you can try or can you guys like change it, please? Because this is way too difficult and everything like that. So they changed it up and oh my god come on man you got to get that you got to get that b come on and now it's just 30 kills instead of getting a nuke because you know to be honest i think that it would be way more rewarding if it was 30 kills without dying but i would be here for hours if that was the case like I've, I've already been recording this video for you know almost an hour and because like i can't win a damn free-for-all match and it's really pissing me off <laughs> here we go and here's the other this i think this this is the third tier because the second tier is the tier with the spikes kind of like kind of sort of being shown but they're not completely there yet you know it goes every five kills i am i am a little i am camping a, a tad bit right now i'm not meaning to i'm just like every single time i run out like there's a guy that's like right around the corner so is there another guy on this wall I'm not going to use any of my streaks because, besides the UAV, of course, because, um, no, no, no. Hold on. Besides my, besides my UAV, because, um, I don't want to get any kills other than with the Maddox. If I, if I don't get kills, if I get kills with anything else except the Maddox, then I'm not going to be able to, I'm not going to be able to get the, the entire Dark Matter camo. So, yeah. Yikes! I don't know what, I don't know what, I don't know what the streak is I'm on right now. Like, we got a strike team, so that says, that says something. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm on right now. Relentless? What's that? Was that like a 20? Oh. All right, whatever. We went on a 20. I'll, t I'll take that, honestly. Because I've been raging for like the past six, seven games. <laughs> because I've been getting thrown. Oh my God. All right, whatever. Which one do you guys like better? Do you guys like the Black Ops 4 Dark Matter or the BO3 Dark Matter? Or the Black Ops Cold War Dark Matter? Oh, and there it is. The final tier. There it is. But wait till I bring it back down. Oh, you guys won't really, really be able to see it, but you know. You guys know what it looks like. If you've played a Call of Duty game before, you guys know what it looks like. Nobody cares about Call of Duty Mobile. It's got a final camo, but no one cares about it. All right, so I already recorded this, and now I got to re-record it because I didn't have my screen showing. All right, we have two final camos in this game. We have Damascus 
and we have obsidian. We're gonna use Damascus real quick. And uh, yeah, you can't really see it. I'll show it to you guys outside. We got shipment. I had this recorded and now it's not, it's not there because my screen wasn't showing. God, now I got jump shot and kids and stuff like that. This is annoying. Oh my God. Okay, so we're on shipment. Probably the worst map ever. Oh my Lord. So here's Damascus camo. It looks kind of sweet, right? Right, right? Okay, cool. <laughs> I won. Let's go. <laughs> Why could I sat on the side? Oh, hey. Yeah, PC spawns in first on this game. I forgot about that. <laughs> but I really like the Obsidian camo in this game. I just wish it was animated. The Obsidian camo came in around July, I'm pretty sure. and Or it was like July or August. It was kind of underwhelming at first. A lot of people were like, oh, it's literally just a black camo. And I'm just kind of like, yeah, but it kind of... Obsidian is if Exclusion Zone didn't have the green cracks in it, you know? That's how I look at it. Jake, what are you doing? Jake from State Farm, get out of the corner. Got, dude. I'm, I, okay, you know what? It's okay. Listen, <laughs> listen. You suck. Here you go. We got the Krig, and this is Dark Matter. This looks. I mean, this looks really nice. It doesn't look that good in Cold War. It doesn't cover the barrel or anything like that. I guess this is the last game that we have to play, which is Black Ops Cold War. But this is the Dark Matter camo in Black Ops Cold War. There's a guy right there. And then not only do we have a multiplayer final camo in this game, but we have a zombies final camo as well. And that's Dark Aether. And this guy still doesn't realize I'm right next to him. So, yeah. What's up? So we're going to use both of these in this game. And I'm only doing that because it's way easier than to play two separate games. And I think this game is really awesome just for the fact that it has two final camos. I know that Modern Warfare had Obsidian and it had, uh, I guess, uh, Damascus. But at the same time, this game has two final camos for two separate modes. And I think that both camos are really, really nice in their own, in like their own way. You guys probably noticed that Dark Ether is very similar to the BO3 Dark Matter camo. And that's great and all. Don't get me wrong. But I do like Dark Matter's take in this game. It's very similar to Chrome, but it's got like a reactive kind of feel to it. In addition to being reactive, it's also animated. So that's always nice too. We're running the 74U and the FFAR. So I figured these are two really good guns to have this camo on. And we're playing free for all. Hopefully we can get some good footage and all that good jazz and all that good stuff. Both of these camos are animated and I really, really like it. Someone said to me earlier on stream that Dark Ether sways to the left and a Dark Matter sways to the right. I don't really see that, but you know, it is what it is. You know, it kind of sucked that there was only one camo for both zombies and multiplayer in Black Ops 4. Honestly, I was really hoping that back during, I guess, 2018 is when the game came out, that they would have two camos, one for zombies and one for multiplayer. So that way, you know, people could grind both camos. But since they didn't, it, it kind of sucked. <laughs> Ooh. FFAR after the buff is really, really good, dude. It's pretty good. I'm not even gonna lie. Yep. So what's up, dude? Spawn right next to that guy. I know he's mad. I'd be pissed. <laughs> all right, let's see here. Even if we don't win, it's all about just showing off the camos and all that stuff. In the final camo video I did last year, a lot of people were pissed off at me because I didn't show what the camo looked like. <laughs> and I was just kind of running around with it. So I did the animations in the beginning. So that way you guys could see those and all that good stuff. So yeah, I don't know why you're jumping around the corner with your shotgun at me, but please don't do that ever again. I really like the Dark Ether in this game, though. I'm not gonna lie, it, it does give me a lot of BO3 vibes. I mean, it pretty much is Black Ops 3 Dark Matter. I, I don't know, I, I wanna call it like a crust, but it's not like crust because it's not food, obviously. <laughs> so kind of got that like, I don't wanna call it metal either because it's not metal. It's like a kind of got like an outer layer to it where it's not glossy or anything like that, but it's just like a an outer layer to the gut. I don't know. I can't really think of what what I want to say. But yeah, that's going to do it for the final camos, the mastery camos in every Call of Duty. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did enjoy the commentary and all that good stuff, make sure you guys leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Come on.